Hello, today's video is going to be a tutorial on this. This is another uh, installment in my novelty bag series. Ooh. And so I'm going to show you how to make this fry wristlet, and I think it's really cute. And if you know me at all, you know that my favorite food ever is fries. I can eat fries all the time. So obviously I had to make a fry wristlet because who doesn't need that? And um, so it's got a little snap here. Fries go all the way around. And then it's just got a little wrist strap and some embroidery. Um, it's not too difficult. It looks a little complicated, but it's not too bad. I have the pattern for this outer bag with the zigzags. I'll have that pattern up on my blog if you want to check that out, and I'll have that linked below. So if you want to use the same pattern that I used, then feel free to use it. So it's not too difficult, and I hope you guys enjoy, and let's just get right into it. You're going to begin by cutting out two of the zigzag pieces and two regular rectangles. And I used fray check on the top of the zigzags just so they wouldn't fray, but you don't need to do this if you're using felt or another material that doesn't fray. Next, I'm just taking a couple of pieces of thin red ribbon and cutting them so they fit diagonally on top of just the front zigzag piece. And I'm going to pin these down diagonally. I just thought this added a nice design element. And then I just stitch those down. And once that's finished, I went ahead and used a pencil and lightly drew out the word fries on it. And I just thought this, again, added another little element. And if people didn't know exactly what <laughs> it was supposed to be, now it tells them. So I'm just using embroidery floss and embroidering it on. And once that's finished, just take the other zigzag piece, line them up, and sew them right sides together on the three straight edges. And then do the same with just the rectangle pieces, leaving the top open. Next, we're gonna go ahead and cut up our french fries. So I'm cutting half inch strips of the yellow felt. And then you can just cut those into even smaller strips. And then you have a bunch of fries. So turning the main piece right side out, and then the lining piece, leave it um, wrong side out, and then fold down the top so there's a nice clean edge. And then I just put the lining inside of the outer piece. And I also made this little wrist strap, and I'm just going to tuck that in between the side seams. Now I'm going to start placing my french fries, and the way I do this is I place them between the lining and the outer layer. This way it's clean on the inside and the outside, and so the fries are sandwiched between the two layers. So I just go around starting with the front, and I place all these felt fries in however I like them, and I just pin them down. And I added layers just so it looked more full. And then in the back, I made them a little bit taller just so you could see, again, the layers. And then once that's finished, you just go ahead and stitch it down, and you are finished with the bag. Alright, so that is it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed as always, and if you have something that you want me to make, go ahead and post a comment down below or hit me up on my social media sites as always, and they'll be linked in the description box. Especially any particular novelty bags that you want to see since this is a new series on my channel, and if you haven't seen my two previous novelty bag videos, I will have them linked at the end of this video so you can check those out. I've got a playlist going and now I'm going to add this one and just any requests in general because I'm always looking for video ideas especially for next month if you have any um, December tutorial or video requests that you would like me to do just go ahead and let me know. If you're new here and you like this video please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate that and if you make this or anything from any of my previous videos go ahead and post a picture to social media and be sure to tag me because I love seeing when you guys re create my stuff. And if you didn't know, I actually have a Patreon account and I will have it linked in the description box and at the end of the video. And so basically you can just go and check it out. And if you, obviously not everybody can afford to donate. It's just, you can just do like a dollar a month or something like that. But I'd really love for you to check it out. And even if you can't, um, subscribing really helps me. And um, just the Patreon would just help me doing what I do and improving it. And just like, it helps me with supplies and equipment and things like that. So go check that out. And really, 
really um, appreciate it. And I hope you all have a lovely day and I will talk to you next week. Bye.